Today I'm going to show you how to make your own cube set. Let's build that. I started out by ripping this board into two and a half inch by two and a half inch stock, slightly over five feet long. Once you have your two and a half inch stock, you can cut this into 10 six inch pieces. These will create your cubes, the main gameplay pieces. Once I was done cutting, I just cleaned up all the edges with 220 sandpaper to get rid of any sharp corners. Next, I'll cut a one foot king out of a four by four post that actually measures three and a half by three and a half. To cut my post, I had to do several cuts with the saw because I couldn't cut deep enough. And once that was all cut up, I used the same 220 just to clean up all the edges again, get rid of any sharp corners. To add some decorative features to my king, I split the top into quarters. Then using my speed square, I measured from the two center quarters 45 degrees down to create a V-notch. I then set up my table saw to match that 45V and the same distance from my fence and measured the height of the V and the height of the blade and set that. And then I cut four passes to create an X groove in the top of the king. Now that that's done, I use my cross cut miter sled to 45 the remaining four sides to create four points on the top of the king. I just set my block where I needed, slowly raise the blade till it cut through, and then cut all four sides with a stop block to make sure it was all even. And there you have the four points. In order to cut some decorative grooves, I just put up the blade a slight bit, set up this stop block with a shim, and ran it around four sides. Then I removed the shim, and that gave me a nice even quarter inch gap for the two different grooves, just to give it a little more decorative feel. The batons are one foot long, and I used one and three eighths closet dowel poplar and you need six of these so I just cut six one foot dowels to create your batons for tossing. Once those were cut I just cleaned up all the burrs and the sharp corners with a sanding block because it's foam and was wrapped around the dowel really nicely. An optional thing you can do is marking stakes and a hammer. So I cut four one foot sections of this three quarter dowel I didn't quite have four feet, so I just lined all four of them up and matched them up to about 11 and a half. It's not that important as long as they're just kind of even. I created this jig for my table saw and I used it like a pencil sharpener to add a point to all four of my corner stakes. You can do six if you have the extra dowel. I just didn't have any on hand, so I did the four. I cleaned these up with the same sanding block and just got rid of any burrs and sh kind of shaped the points a little better. To make the handle I took one inch oak dowel and cut about a 10 inch section and then I took this scrap 2x2 two two stock and I cut a 4 inch section to make a 4 inch by 2 inch by 2 inch block. Since this block was pre-finished I just cleaned it up with some 100 grit sandpaper to get rid of all the old finish and then polished it up with some 220 to get rid of any of the swirl marks and I also rounded over all the corners. Then I cleaned up the dowel for the handle and again I, I used the palm sander for this but I ended up going back to the block because it just works a lot better for going around the round on the dowels. I took my speed square and I marked the center of the block I'm just double checking with my tape measure, re remarking my lines, making sure I can see them. And I used a one inch spade bit, the same size as the dowel, and I just drilled a hole about an inch deep. I couldn't go as deep as I'd like to because the spade has the point. It would be better to use a Forstner, but I didn't have any. So, test fit my dowel handle, take it back apart, applied some wood glue, and then I just 
put the two pieces together, spread the glue out really well, and then added a clamp just to help it dry and stay tight. And there's all the finished pieces and I'm just adding this really dark Kona stain. I like this color. I use it for a lot of my projects, probably because I have such a big can of it, but I just really like the, uh, the dark color stain. So here's me just staining all the pieces, Kona. Uh, I'm not gonna show you all of it, but I will show you one of each piece just so you can see how each piece kind of turned out and I'll give you an overview at the end when all the pieces were done. Here's all the finished pieces. You got some nice contrast. I like the fact that the blocks still have some some saw blade marks in them, and the different types of woods create different colors. I thought it turned out pretty good. I do like the dark stain. So I let it all dry, and then per the request of my wife, I taped everything off. Uh, all the dowels had a one-inch section taped off the end. I just did some decorative pinstriping on this hammer, and. Uh, I did a 50-50 split on the cubes and some more decorative pinstriping on the king. And once that was done, I just spray painted all these open areas with gold. Like I said, that's what the wife wanted, so that's what I did. all the finished painted pieces and the last one all set and I set them to dry and now it's time to take off all the paper. So as you can see the batons have a one inch band on the top and bottom, the stakes have a one inch band at the top, the hammer has a one inch, ha uh, one inch band on the butt and has the pinstripe around the head, the king has the decorative groove in the middle and the crowns are painted gold. And then all the cubes are 50-50 split, gold, and stained. So there it is. There's your finished set. Hope you like it. If you uh, want to build your set, then hopefully this will help you out. If you need to know how to play, feel free to click on this video here. This is my uh, quick gameplay video. Posted it shortly after this one. So go ahead and check that out if you've never played Cube and you want to see more about that. So anyways, hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel UNI DIY. Try and post videos here every Wednesday at 7 o'clock. So look forward to that. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll see you on the next project.